Well, it's been over two years and I'm finally back. That's right, two years ago in November, the last time I filmed something was the Frontier before they imploded it. And then that's when my old camcorder finally bit the dust. It gave me over uh, 13 years of service and now it's gone. And this is Giselle's new toy. Yes, it's a 2001 Yamaha LS2000. It's actually ours, but legally it's hers. So I'm going to see how well this boat looks on camera. It's got two twin engines, a lever for each, and of course forward, neutral, reverse. It's got a nice little sound system with a CD player, and of course I can hook my MP3 player on there. There's the back of it, and there's the name of our vessel, Booty and Belly. Now, for those of you that are not really familiar with boats, this is a jet boat with two separate twin jets. Instead of propellers, those are impellers inside those nozzles, which basically give it faster performance. Uh, the bow stabilizes once it's in the water instead of staying up. And this boat's even got mirrors on it. Now, to tow it, I used uh, a little bit of my savings and uh, went 60% and Giselle paid the remaining 40% and we got this. And we strictly use this truck only to tow the boat and that's it. And maybe we'll make it to make a Mount Charleston appearance. <laughs> but that's it. So there you go. This is Booty and Belly. And yeah, it's windy out here, unfortunately. You can call Rufu if you want. Okay, yeah. I'm recording. Yo, we're Booty and Belly. <laughs> the Lake Mojave. And this is our vessel. This is our story. This is Booty. I'm Belly. Any <laughs> questions? Cut. Rufus! Hey, this is City Rufus! Look at this beautiful little Bogoski! <laughs> All right, my friend. Let me go check in my friend right here. All right, we are recording. Let me get my hand on here because I'm still not used to this new camera. Where is it? There we go. Well, folks, I've been uh, coming to Bullhead City for th over 30 years, and this is my first time living here. And you can't see it because it's sunk, but the, the city got its name by an island that was in the shape of a bullhead, but that was years ago. Acts approximately where I'm filming right here is where the island was. It's in, underneath the water now. You can kind of see the water level is pretty low, but for this time of year it's always this low. When the summertime comes next year it'll be higher. But the mountain was in the shape of a bullhead. Now we're by Davis Dam. I can't go any further because it's a restricted area because it's closed. But that's how the city got its name. An island in the shape of a bullhead. Or, so that's how the city became Bullhead City. Interesting piece of history. Right there, folks, is where the uh, Bullhead Island's supposed to be. As I said, it's sunk, though. button there we go Catherine's Landing where it all starts kind of dry that all right we're recording uh, this here folks now that I finally have a camcorder is me and Giselle's favorite cove why well, you kind of look at the water. First off, let me do, get this picture here. This is now when the water has gone down. You see all this moss here from right here to right about here. Well, that's how far the water was up. 
it's October now, the water's really down, but there's our fireplace. Right there. And that's our box for our shader. Yeah, we had a shader here. But this is our favorite cove because no prop boats can get into here, it's too shallow. Only we can, because we have a jet boat. Wow. But yeah, here's a better view. Look at that. Look how low that water went down. Whew. That's all that's all there if you step on there. That's quicksand. So you got to stay away from there. I almost sunk. But there you go. This is our cove. This is one of our favorites now. Zooming across from here if I can, if I can find the zoom button on this right there that's the floating pooper palace I know I'm moving around right there there's a boat going in the way and to the left of it right there is one of our signature coves from 1995 on our first houseboat trip but that's it right there there's booty Hi. She's playing teller today. She's going to be the quiet one. That's not our shader box, by the way. Look at that box. Folks, for the record, we've were, learned one valuable lesson. Do not leave your belongings, no matter how trusting this lake is anymore, on, the, on your cove. We learned the hard way when we lost $500 worth of stuff here. But uh, there you go, this is our favorite cove. And we'll definitely put it to use next year. Getting rough. Our tiny ship is tossed. We may not make it to Willow Beach. We'll see what happens. This is Cottonwood. This is my uh, favorite place to rent house boats. Look at these nice boats. And it's hard to believe people live on these things. Just touch my butt. How dare you?
look right there, folks. There's a crane. A little birdie. See if I can get a zoom on him. There he is, right there. That's a crane. Well, we are at uh, one of our uh, coves that we like when we come out here. We're going to try a little fishing. Now this is the life, folks. Clear in one hand, the fishing pole in the other hand. You know what's missing in this picture? Fish. I one just ate my bread, but they're not coming nowhere near our line. What's up with this? This happens every time we go fishing. Dad, where are you? You got the magic touch. Show me your secrets, please. Cut. We are recording. Now, folks, in the 30 years that I have been visiting this lake and this river, the only mode of transportation on this river is what I'm zooming on right here, the taxi boats. Since we got this boat, this is the first time in history that I've actually driven a boat on this river. And it's pretty exciting because you see a lot of nice houses and the views. Plus, you got two places you can stop at as well. But this is it, the Colorado River. And I'll get a picture once we get up towards our destination. There's two places you can stop at, Lazy Harry's and Juana's. So we'll see you when we get there. Folks, here's one of two uh, stops that you can do on the river. This is uh, Iguana's Cantina, and over there where you can see the white lights right there is Lazy Harry's, and well, it's over that hill. You get the hint. I'll probably try and get a picture of it. Booty and Belly is docked. Unfortunately, Booty and Belly's engine one is acting up on us. I'm uh, suspecting the way it's acting, it's a clogged fuel filter, which is an easy fix. But I'll worry about it another time. It's still running de pretty good, and that's all that matters. So we're going to go have some Mexican food now. Oh, and over here is the Veterans Memorial. Now, this was put in about six years ago. 
and there used to be a torch kind of in the middle there you can't really see it that would be uh, uh, lit it was a natural gas flame unfortunately they have extinguished it because the gas company can no longer afford to keep it lit and no donations were made etc to keep it lit so the only time they light it up now is during special occasions anyway signing off for now here's the front of iguanas now you may remember down here is where dad's old trailer is it's down that street and then the first left you wouldn't even recognize it anymore there's more part of the uh, Vietnam Memorial right there There's our boat, Booty and Billy.